So I jumped in the truck and grabbed a few supplies and drove all the way to Mangakino. And today I'm going to just do a bit of work and later on I'm going to cook something in my quarter acre pot so that I can do a review for that. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. So today's going to be not a travel day. I was going to actually film yesterday while I was traveling but somehow it didn't happen. It was a yeah, sudden decision that I needed to get out of Rotorua. I was in Rotorua for my COF which the good girl passed straight through, clean through, clean sheet. So happy because I'd left my plans open just in case I needed to go to Tauranga to my mechanics or something like that. Um, so yeah, and then I thought, what am I going to do? The Tauranga NZMCA Park, uh, the Rotorua NZMCA Park was filling up like so fast. It was like so. And today I'm going to just and today I'm going to just do a bit of work, and later on I'm going to cook something in my quarter acre pot so that I can do a review for that. And a kino. And today I'm going to just do a bit of work, and later on I'm going to cook something in my quarter acre pot so that I can do a review for that. That, as people were interested in that and how I use that and for me being plant-based I don't like the word vegan because people think that's activists and things and no I don't do that I just choose to eat plant-based but being plant-based you know you end up eating quite a lot of sort of things like chickpeas and lentils and beans and stuff and they are a lot cheaper to buy dry but they take a long time to cook so what I do if I want to like do a whole lot of chickpeas I soak them overnight and then I rinse them and then I cook them for about 10 minutes on the stove top and then I just or even less than that eight minutes bung them in the pot in the thermal cooker in the housing and leave it there for a few hours and by the time I open it they're all beautifully cooked so Whereas if I did the whole lot on the gas, they would have to cook for probably at least half an hour or so, even being soaked. And that works really well too. So I'll show you later on when I actually make something to eat. So here I've got the quarter acre pot. It comes in this ginormous bag, which I actually don't use. Um, I put that in the cupboard because I actually like to have the pot which is here on a shelf in my kitchen so it's handy and easy to use if I had to drag it out of somewhere in the bag every time I know knowing me I wouldn't use it so here's the pot with the lid open and I'm just going to show you the inside it came with two lids but generally I only use one so I've got the other one stashed. There's the little inner pot and it goes inside <laughs> it goes inside the bigger one like that. And generally you cook on them individually on the stove and then put them together and plonk the lid on. And then, and then you put it in here when it's all hot and it's cooked for depending on what you're cooking. It come, tells you in the little instruction book. And you shut the lid and leave it for however long. Um, if you um, are cooking tough meats or things like hard seeds like lentils and chickpeas and things like that it's probably a good idea to leave it for a few hours but if it's just vegetables and things or tinned beans and things like that that don't take so long I've <clears throat> quite often just left it for about two hours especially if I'm not that organized I'm not always organized to cook um when I get up you know <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so as you may have noticed, I don't put oil in for, for cooking down the mushrooms and the onions. Um, I'm using a little bit of these aminos. They're quite good, quite flavoursome, and I really enjoy cooking with that. Um, because, yeah, I'm, I'm not that keen on soy sauce. I like this. It gives things a good flavour. So I generally live on what's called a high-carb, low-fat vegan diet because I have had ME or chronic fatigue syndrome and I have that for years and my body now just runs supremely well on that. If I start messing that up and eating the wrong stuff, I really feel my energy levels drop down whereas if I keep eating like this, and eating lots of plant food, <laughs> I seem to feel well. So what I've done is I've now chucked all the ingredients in that bigger pot and it's cooking down. Um, so what I'm going to do is just leave it on the stove for about 8 minutes, once it's simmering, once it's cooking I turn it down, put the lid on and let it simmer for about 8 minutes and then I'm going to bung it in the, in the insulated outer, but I'm not sure, it's a bit hard to show you, I have to get the camera off the tripod, or well, bring the whole tripod. Right, as you can see, <laughs> it's not over half full, which is what they're meant to be, apparently to work most efficiently, but there's only one of me, and I don't want to make that much food, I've only got a little freezer, I quite often cook a bit extra and then put some in the freezer for another day, but it does seem to work at smaller quantities if you're cooking things that don't take all day. If it's only a couple of hours, it's still well cooked and, yeah, nice and hot when you get it out. So, yeah, um, sometimes if, if it's cooled down a bit, you can bang it back on the stove before you eat it, which works really well too. And what I'm not going to do is put... Sometimes I cook rice for things like that in the little pot but it's still quite early, it's only quarter to twelve, so if I put rice in it now, it's going to be really dry by tonight, <laughs> so I'm going to cook that later. So I might put that on later and then put it in there a bit later on in the day, because I noticed that before when I've cooked rice in this, um, that it's turned out very dry and not very warm when it comes time to eat. But it is a good little time saver, especially if you want to sort of prepare something that takes a bit of time to cook and, yeah, want to be able to just leave it. And yeah, I haven't used it, for, I haven't been to any potluck dinners or anything like that, but I think it'd be super handy for that. You can just cook a big, big pot of curry or something and chuck it in that bag and... Um, in motorhomes I've found that when you have get-togethers with others you're kind of running in and out of your vehicle to the socialising area back and forth trying to get your food hot at the right time <laughs> and I've always found that actually really annoying when you're doing things like that it's like what time are we eating when do I have to have it hot by because some things you just end up overcooking them if you don't get it right so yeah I think it'd be really handy for things like that so yeah, once this is cooked for 10 minutes, I'll put it in that sealed unit and then yeah, leave it till tonight and I'll show you my food that I've made later on. In the meantime, I'm going to take you outside because I'm actually in a really cool place. Okay, so I've put my, what's turned into a curry actually, told you I don't use recipes, but I just thought why not turn it into a curry in my pot and I'm going to enjoy some time outside because I've done a bit of work online today and it's time to get some sun and some fresh air and there's little Miss Feeny she's coming too because she has to go wherever I go so I better go somewhere she feels safe going so she's going to follow me now <laughs> 
as you can see she's my little shadow who has to go everywhere with me but sometimes if I want to go for a real walk I actually tell her she has to stay home <laughs> because it would just get too slow and she only goes so far and then she starts crying and wanting me to come home and go back and gets really wound up about that so she's no good for longer walks but a little stroll there we go come on so anyway as you can see what <laughs> oh god as you can see what are you on about it's so funny um Anyway, as you can see, it's a nice place. I have no doubts whatsoever that it's going to get a whole lot busier over the weekend. But after Rotorua and the crowd's there already, I was the only person here last night, which was absolutely perfect. I don't mind being the only one here at all. It's lovely. I just really like space. I think that was, when I first went on the road, that was my biggest adjustment because I'd always had land and reasonably large chunks of it so I always had my space and my boundaries and living in the public domain you just don't get that so the audio could go a bit funny because I haven't put the fluffy wind thing on my microphone because I didn't think it was very windy but this is where I am isn't it beautiful But yeah, I'm at Mangakino for a couple of days and I really like this little village too. And what I like too is because you can bike or walk into the little village to do things. Um, which is really handy when you don't have a car. <laughs> when all you've got is your big truck and a bicycle. Because um, yeah, packing the whole truck up to pop down the road is a bit of a pain so I don't tend to do it. So yeah, this is... This is our little camp. So I'm going to sit out here. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on the quarter acre pot. If you have one, tell me what you think of it, what you like to cook in it. I'd love to know in the comments below. And yeah, please like and subscribe my channel if you're interested in vegan food and want to see more plant-based cookery. I'm happy to make more videos like that because I enjoy it. I enjoy making food and I enjoy eating it too, but making it's a lot of fun. So, um, And I've been plant-based for a few years now, so I've got a few few good recipes I know of. And I'm not saying you should all go plant-based, but it's not a bad thing to vary your diet a bit anyway. <laughs> and yeah, change it up a bit, <clears throat> have some new ideas. So anyway... Lots of love and have a great big busy weekend if you're in New Zealand. Lots of love and see you all next time. Mm -hmm.